everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to grow closer to God or how to have a relationship with God. These things are get a good understanding Bible. Um, this Bible has um, notes in it so it kind of tells me, you know, what certain words are or what or you know certain top topics about bravery or talk about Christ. So it just has notes and things um things jotted down. Um and then another one how to find God and this is a Bible too. Um this has um you know certain things that certain notes that has helped me um get more of an understanding of the verses understanding of the you know the certain people in the bible so to get a good you know understanding bible because i know jumping into the king james version it could be a little difficult you know so um the words do help you at the bottom and you know certain notes are there to get you of a more of an understanding of the Bible. Second thing is journals. Um, I love journaling a lot. I feel like that has helped me in my relationship with God. I feel like it's somewhat not like a diary, but you know, like um, kind of writing to God and telling Him everything, and even having you know this one. I have an art journal, and you know this one. I just jot notes down. Um, this one I made. It says clothed with strength and dignity. Um, you could even have a personal one where you tell God everything. Um, so journaling has. Um, played a big part of my life either you could you know if you love arting if you love drawing you could kind of make like the bible kind of realistic and you know draw it out, out and you know just make it fun and artsy and yeah but journaling has helped me a lot and you can you know tell god you know all your problems all the good moments and you know i print out pictures and i just tell god you know what i did today so journaling is another good way to grow closer to god another one is books and devotions um certain books that has helped me grow closer to god and got a more of understanding of him you know just reading books about god you know the bible is a beautiful way to connect god but you know also reading about him and um kind of certain testimonies that could help you and you know um things that people you know authors of christian authors that you know describe god and jesus you know that's how i kind of got um closer to god too because i know certain things of the bible kind of got me confused in the beginning um so i know reading about um god and knowing who god is um so just reading books about um, him and to be very careful of certain books that you know talk about god but you have to you know kind of be careful of the fruit um, so, but just reading books about God um, has got, um, got me closer to God a lot. One is prayer. Just like a marriage, you know, a marriage is of talking, you know, if there's no marriage, you'd not be talking at all. So, um, talking and, you know, just knowing each other, knowing um, your, his likes and, know, and him knowing your likes and your dislikes. And, you know, so you always need to pray rather just not be the bad moments, but, you know, being at the food market or being at the park or either being in your quiet time. You know, prayer, even when we don't know how to pray or even when we're going through so much emotion, you know, it says that the Holy Spirit, you know, knows what we pray about. Even, you know, our cries and our groans reach his throne. So, you know, prayer, you know, we need prayer all the time, either of decisions or opinions or you know if this is the right choice god or you know certain things like you know god um hopefully you know i find a cute modest outfit um you know just praying to him even of the small things um but prayer is a main key you know to connect with our heavenly father and to talk to him and to know he's in the heavens and you know he the hears fifth thing is quiet time um war room or prayer closet you know we need a quiet time we need to you know get away from distractions get away from our cell phones get away from the world the tv you know just Things that are, you know, sometimes not important or things that, you know, we're either working too much that we have to, you know, just be in the presence of God and be still. And just, you know, when we're feeling a certain way, when we're feeling, you know, depressed or anxiety or, you know, just feel like we have a heavy burden on ourselves, we have to, you know, pray it out, cry it out. You know, we even when we might look like, you know, um, sad and we might be so emotional to pour it out to God and to pray it you know cast out those demons of anxiety and depression you know we need to fight and you know be have our quiet time you know when everything is quiet and we sit in his presence and we be still and we hear God and you know we get you know spend time with him because you know it's good to go to church it's good to you know look at sermons but it's also good you know to be still before the Lord because he desires that one-on-one -on -one relationship with you he is jealous for you another one is worship music and music has helped me go closer to God as well because you know we're all supposed to be you know together crying out to God worshiping him bowing down to him lifting our hands up high to him so um worship music um beautiful music like carrie job um casting crowns you know songs that are just worshiping god and you know just dancing together you know worshiping him 
and um, just being in his presence and you know that has helped me a lot as well to be in the presence of God and to be in the awe of him you know that we dance and we sing before him we make we be in our instruments we sing you know we have our guitar we have um, our drums we have everything you know and we just you know be together dancing before the Lord and um, praying to the Lord and praising him so music is a good way to connect with God last one is fellowshipping and you know uh, fellowshipping is a good way because we are supposed to be the church as well and you know building one another and sharing each other's hurts sharing each other's you know suffering and our cries and our smiles and our laughter and you know all being together and just you know like I said praising and worshiping God and you know praying for one another you know once um, a certain person is feeling a certain way when a certain person is you know feeling sick or you know they're either having health problems or going through stuff we, we're like you know I'm gonna pray for you we're together we're fellowshipping we're a church we're the body of Christ and either could be um on like a church online or either you know a church you know where you live you know because I do um, have you know church online as well where I connect with other brothers and sisters that you know we could all be together and we could all you know just talk about God and to worship him and, and to you know just praise him and you know talk about him and share you know his goodness and his love and his grace this is, um a couple of stuff that has helped me grow closer to god and hopefully this has helped y'all as well because you know i desire for everybody to have a relationship with god and to grow closer to him um but just thank y'all for watching today's video hopefully i'll have a good new year i'll see you next time god bless you all